Hi, this is Brandy at the Fiber My Bean, and I've received some questions about how to wind on your spun yarn as you're spinning so as not to make a mess you have to cut off your spindle. So, what I'm going to do here just for simplicity's sake is I have some multicolored yarn and I have a bottom whorl spindle. This is actually a spindle in, which is a supported spindle, but you can also use it as a bottom whorl spindle. And I'm going to show you on a bottom whorl and a top whorl how to wind on your cop. That's what they call the fiber that you spun up and you wind on your spindle. It's called a cop. So, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to pretend I'm spinning this single. And so I'm spinning it, spinning it, spinning it. And I've got my leader done. And I'm going to start winding on my cop. And basically, you start winding at the bottom. And you work your way, you barber pull it up. And that's the beginning of it. Now, I'm going to quit spinning, over spinning this yarn that's already spun. And for simplicity's sake, just keep showing you how to wind it on. So say you get another length spun up, like about that. You unwind back down to the bottom and then you can start winding at the bottom just a couple spins and then start working your way up and as you keep doing this so I'll say I spun another length I'm going to unwind back down to the very bottom again wind it on and wind it back up. Now, I'm trying to find the best word to describe what a cop looks like. It kind of looks like a cone, but the bottom of your cone, as you can see, I'm starting to develop a shape here. It's going to be thicker at the bottom and then get progressively thinner as you go towards the top. So say I spun another length and I'm just unwinding again down to the bottom and then barber pulling it right up and that's how you wind on to a bottom wall spindle now I'm going to go ahead and take this off here and wind it back up on my ball which I stuck in a mason jar so little kitties wouldn't want to go after it while I was working with it Okay, let's wind it. All right, I'll put that aside and we'll grab the top roll spindle. To wind on to top roll spindle, I'm once again just going to pretend this is my leader and I'm going to slide it over. And whatever direction you're spinning in is the direction that you wind on and I usually spin clockwise when I'm doing a single so I will wind clockwise and you kind of do the same thing you come down to the bottom and work your way up but because this is a top world spindle let me unwind a little more there I've spun another length so I'm gonna go ahead and just start wind. You start down low and work your way up Let me unravel a little more and wind it on. I usually unwind a little bit and then start down low and work my way up. And your cop is going to end up being upside down as opposed to looking like um, a cone, this will be this will look more like an inverted cone because it will build up more underneath the whorl. So if you flip this up, your um, the wide part of your cup will be here and the skinny part will be up here. And that's basically how you wind on a cup without making a mess of it. Because when I first started, I made a mess of it quite a few times. I never I never actually cut the yarn off. 
the spindle, but I did break it a few times, <laughs> which doesn't make for the nicest spinning yarn because you have to reconnect when you're plying or figure out figure out something when you're knitting. You have to add a new piece while you're knitting, which is not as fun. So I hope this helped you figure out how to wind your freshly spun yarn onto your spindle. Have a great day.